once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Today's a pretty special video in general. It's been a long time since I've sat down in front of a camera and actually done a review slash unboxing of any kind of Halo product. I've had so many different directions that the channel's been going in recently, playing through Halo Infinite, the Toymation Fest, hot takes, like everything's been going in a different direction. So sometimes it's good to take a step back and do what you love doing, which is, for me, unboxing Halo products. Today, we've got one of the creme de la cremes of Halo products right now, the Jerome 092 Jazzware Spartan Collection figure. One of the hottest Jazzware figures, one of the hardest to find, and one of the most expensive on the secondary market. Luckily for me, I went to a Target and I just looked out. People ask me, Simon, how do you get so lucky when you show off all these products? And I say, well, you don't see how many times I don't find a product when I go to Target, you know? I've only ever found two Spartan Collection figures, Jerome and June. They're the only ones that like are worth anything. The others I've just seen are like Master Chiefs and Mark 5Bs, you know, but I'm really happy to get this one and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll resell it eventually, like, I don't know. I don't know. I might put it back in its packaging once I've opened it because like it just looks gorgeous. Just sat there looking like he's in a bit of a cryo sleep situation, but like it's still really cool. And the drone comes with a shotgun, magnum, and additional hands. And then down here we've got series two of Jazzware, the Master Chief this Mark 5B, we've had a lot of Mark 5Bs. This Gungnir is in almost every single target as well around me. And the Emil, which I guarantee scalpers have driven to every single target in Minnesota and bagged up all of those Emils. That's just that's just a guaranteed fact of the matter. It's also kind of surprising that I'm finding Series 2. I found this about a month ago, and I, I've really been debating recently, especially with people online, like, is Jazzware doing well? I don't really know. There's a lot of evidence that says that they are doing well. People say, well, Simon, they still got Wave 1 one in my target. How can Jazzware be selling well if they've still got wave one? My answer is very simple. The game was delayed by a year. Imagine Target buys up so much Jazzware World of Halo Series 1 and Jazzware Spartan Collection Series 1 as Halo Infinite is about to drop, thinking Halo Infinite will be the new Fortnite. And then the game is delayed by a year, so all Target can really do is slowly drip feed out their Series 1 stock while getting small batches of Series 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 was just announced recently and it looks really dope. I really want to get my hands on the George and the Halo 3 Spartan in that series. I'm also really happy to see the reflective visor on this Jerome. He's one of the most badass recognizable Spartans in Halo. I never got hold of the McFarlane Jerome. I think this is obviously going to be way higher quality than the McFarlane one. I did find a Joyride Jackal in a Goodwill the other day. You can check out that video. It's a bit of a hectic video because I was just preparing for the Toymation judging and I just recorded it out of the blue. It was a pretty random one. But look at that. That's looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm seeing a lot of nice silver battle damage detailing, sort of weathering across his body. It looks a bit more muddy than uh, battle damage. I don't know, but his face looks really clean. Uh, this just reminds me the most of Halo Wars 2. I'm happy that Jerome got such a big part in that game. Uh, you know, he was sort of just alongside all the other Spartans in Halo Wars 1, but in Halo Wars 2, they clearly showed him as the Spartan leader, especially in meetings on the brig of the Spirit of Fire. So out you come, buddy. Oof. Oh gosh, that looked painful. Let's have a look at the actual figure first. That's the main thing you guys want to see today, I'm sure. He looks really good, eh? Honestly, really nice, really nice. That 092 is very cleanly printed. The red stripes are what make red team so iconic. Everyone's like, why are they red team when they're green armor? No, they got their red stripes. They look really fantastic. And that like nice Trojan emblem there. A classic from like Halo 4 and 5, I believe. I'm sure you could have that as your emblem in those games. The reflective visor again. You can even see the camera made out in the, uh, far away vision there. Really dope. I know Jazzware has had some problems. A lot of people have complained on Twitter that they replaced the reflective visors. And maybe after series two, they went to like base glossy visors, but now it looks like in wave five, they're bringing back the metallic visor. Cause everyone was like, why would you possibly do that when these <laughs> when these metallic visors look so good? And when you think about if Jazzware is, you know, failing as a company, as launching Halo, I, I don't believe so. I don't see any evidence yet, you know? I don't see these things on clearance really ever. I don't see like massive amounts of overstock past series one, which you've got to say, if the game was delayed, I don't really blame them. They are still pumping out waves. They do more than two waves a year, but not really three, if you get what I mean. Like they're on wave five now and they've been doing it for about two and a bit years. So it does like, I don't know, maybe they release a wave every like four or five 
five months. What I would like to see is better stock of Wave 2345. And also, apparently Walgreens have these, but I've never seen a Spartan Collection figure at Walgreens. So I don't know, maybe Minnesota doesn't have that deal. Looking around the figure, yeah, we've got, uh, well, really nice molding in general. We've got these nice uh, gray attachments to his torso, which go a long way. They look great. And then, like I said, when I was looking at it in the packaging, it's not really like battle damage. It really looks more like mud to me, like splashed like the spray from a warthog wheel as they're like ripping it through the jungle. I don't know. It just, it doesn't quite look like battle damage to me. I'm not saying I don't like it. Maybe the lines are too thick. I don't know. And like there's some like bubbling dots, which just doesn't really look like uh, battle damage to me. Also got that gray detailing in between his chest plates and some silver on his chest plates as well. You could take this in any direction. Like you could make it as detailed as possible. It would be nice to see some colors on those wires running to his back plate. I mean, you could ask for uh, limitless uh, amounts of coloring, but I think in general for a $20 figure, this is nice. I think people do also complain with Jazzware figures about the uh, sort of looseness of their joints, which is a bit of a shame. It's something that we've seen in Halo toys before. These are loose, but the fact that they're on a bit of a ratchet system does mean that it's not an issue to me. I also like how bulky these shoulders are. They do seem to be, have been like slapped on. There is exposed parts of his jumpsuit. It looks really great. Let's check out these weapons, shall we? We got a shotgun and a magnum. And yes, this is my first time that I've ever unboxed a Jazzware figure or a Jazzware Spartan collection figure on camera. So we've got left and right hands that are totally open. No coloring on uh, sort of the green plates. Like they should be green there, but uh, that's fine. They're just plain black. On the actual figure, yeah, just plain black as well. Two gripping fists, which are nice. Clearly not for any weapons, but if you just want him to be a, a brawler. So we have a hand designed exactly for the Magnum. And then I assume the two hands that draw Rome has right now are for the shotgun. One hand for the Magnum, two for the shotgun, and then these if you want to have his hands open or closed at any point. And that is a nice feature, you know, they really don't have to include that. So if we try and, yeah, there we go. If we try and squeeze his hand on the barrel. Nice. Okay. Not looking too bad, Jerome. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't know about you guys. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so his finger doesn't come out. Like, he doesn't have a finger that's able to be squeezing the trigger. You just sort of have to have it, like, next to the shotgun. And also, I've seen a lot of people say that these, uh, weapons are very soft plastic, so they can bend, which I could definitely see. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. They have designed it so you can't have a finger on the trigger. I don't really care enough, especially the fact that these are the Spartan collection. There's no elite collection. There's no banished collection. So you do have all your Spartans. They're not fighting anyone. They're just sort of stood to attention on your display. But then again, you know, he could hold that better. He could hold that better. You just sort of have to ignore, I guess, that this hand doesn't actually grip the trigger. I mean, Jerome is what we've come here for, not the shotgun. He looks really cool. I guess the last thing we'll do is position him with the magnum and for that we need to switch, pop that in. These are really easy to pop in and out. I wouldn't do them too many times. I don't want to risk uh, damaging the flexibility of these, like making them too loose. That happened with a lot of my McFarlane figures back in the day and now they are just like the loosest figures. He holds it, well, <laughs> Well, yeah, he, he holds his magnum. Okay, yeah, if you squeeze all four fingers in, then he does hold his magnum pretty nicely. Smile for the thumbnail, Jerome. This also has a hole here. So can you attach that somewhere? This is also interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's a feature. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Okay, that's... That's pretty dope. Wow, look at that for a feature. Okay, that's really impressed me. I could, maybe some people would just completely gloss over that. They don't even know that exists. Pull that out. You can flip that round, squeeze it back in, and then it'll hold his magnum. All right, that is a dope feature, Jazzware. That is a really sick feature. Wow. How about his shotgun? So again, you have that in the back. You can pull that pin out. You can flip it round and you can attach your shotgun in. Yes, man. Wow. <laughs> what a dope design. Like McFarlane figures came with little pins, but they would always snap off. You would end up with just either it snapped off inside or it snapped off inside the gun and it was always messy, but this is a solid approach, solid approach. All right, so we've got his shotgun and his Magnum in holsters now. So I guess the only thing left to do really is have him ready to brawl. Yes. Not bad, not bad. This started off as like a normal 
normal review, you know? This is a Jerome, I'm excited about Jerome, love the character, good paint apps, but that has truly impressed me. The fact that you can reverse these pins, literally pull them out, flip them around, and then you can holster a weapon. That's an insanely cool feature, and I really respect it. Especially the fact that it looks wonderful on its own. Like, there's not just a glaring hole, which is like a problem with a lot of toys. In any part of their body, you have to have an exposed hole that kind of breaks the immersion of the figure. Not this one. This one looks really, really good. All right, uh, this was another Halo review with the domain. My very first Spartan collection. Let me know if you would like to see a full review of the June Spartan Collection figure. I would love to. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Let me know if you have managed to bag any of the Spartan Collection yourself. What's your collection looking like? I know uh, one of my friends, Aiden, has a really impressive collection of these figures, so maybe I would like to start expanding mine too. This is The Domain, and Jerome is signing off. <laughs>